So one question I had with this season so far was when Will was having his, you know, either flashbacks or visions of things that were going to happen, or maybe it was in the upside down, or I didn't know. Um, I, one of the questions I had was when he was seeing that, if he was in the upside down for real, was he like kind of flashing in and out of reality? Like, would he disappear and come back or disappear and come back? And, you know, finally that's answered that, no, he's still standing there. He just looks like he's in a trench. In a trance, not a trench. This isn't World War One. Um, I will, I have to, I have to give a nod here. Now, the other three kids got a lot of screen time in the last season. Um, and we've gotten to see Finn's performance in It. So they've, they've gotten, they've gotten a lot of exposure here for their acting ability. But, you know, Will isn't in the first season a whole ton. And man, that scene where he's like on the, you know, he's crying and he's upset and what an incredible little actor. Holy shit, man. And he blew me away with that scene. I was like, this kid, he was like bouncing off and forth of his mom, Joyce, like Winona Ryder. And it was like, wow, wow. For a kid, for anybody, it was great. But like, you don't get kids that can act that well. And I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, um, and speaking of kids, uh, Hopper just, you know, he cannot let anything happen to L, uh, to Eleven or L. He is just, you know, he's throwing this tough love thing on her. He's trying to shut her down. And he's like, he's trying to lock her in. And you can see these moments where he's like, he's like, wants to apologize. He wants to, you know, just let her have what she wants. But he is so terrified of her being hurt for him losing her again that he is like being almost a monster to her. And it's sad. It's sad to watch, you know, as a dad who has, you know, daughters, I would, I don't know, like you, they, some end up happening to them and then you get someone else to, you know, to fill that void and then you're just too protective. I mean, he's becoming, he's becoming almost like a lunatic. He's so protective, which makes sense. Um, and then we find out, I mean, a question we obviously had as soon as D'Artagnan or Dart was brought into this is like, is he going to be a good little whatever the hell he is, or is he going to be bad? And it looks like our answer, you know, that's been answered. He's, he's going to be a little demon. Um, and damn, really had to kill the little cat. I was like, Oh, come on, man. Seriously. I thought it was a dog at first, but still. So, Oh, I hate that. But, um, now the whole Jonathan and, um, Nancy thing, when they go and they go to the park and then they get picked up by the guys and they got taken to the lab and they see that they can't seem to get rid of this portal or this entrance, this, this like, you know, almost like ground zero for where this, this, this breach had happened. Uh, and they just keep burning back the weeds. And it's like, they didn't need to show you that. Like, they could have just killed you or locked you up or whatever. Like, they were nice enough to show you. And they, you still want to burn it to the ground. And you see that burning isn't going to do anything. Like, burning this place to the ground. If they literally mean burning it to the ground, they might just mean expose it, which would make more sense. But if they truly mean burning it to the ground, all that would do would be to let it out and not for them to keep, I mean, they're trying to keep it back. I mean, yeah, they're, they've been dicks, but this new guy's in charge. He got rid of, you know, Matthew Modine's character, Papa. I don't even know remember his name is, but it seems like, you know, he's on the level at least a little to the point where he's bringing him in and telling him, like, look, you know, this is what we have to do. Like, you need to keep this under wraps. Like, this is, this is our problem, and we're trying to solve it the best we know how by just kind of keeping it contained, which I'll talk about in a minute with the containment. Um, I have a question. You know, one of the things that I realized in this episode is like, you know, Max and her brother, Billy, are new to town. And I'm sitting there like, and he's, he's like, you know, she's not my sister. She's been, you know, we're family now. It makes me wonder if it's possible that, you know, Max is a number like 11 or 008, like we saw in the first episode. Like, is she 
possibly, or I mean, we keep seeing that dude with his shirt off. So I don't think he has any markings on his arms. I don't know if they marked all of them. I'm sure they did. But Max, we've only seen Max with her sweater on the entire time. So I have a feeling Max could possibly be one of the experimented on child children. We'll see. Uh, and speaking of which, we finally get the answer whether or not Eleven was like a lab experiment or if she was like a kid they got and t took in and chained and whatnot, and, and we find out she is. I mean, this she's she had a mother. She, you know, maybe maybe Matthew Modine's character was actually her father. I don't know. They were seen in the picture together. Who knows? But you know, we got confirmation pretty much. I mean, unless they change it, that her name was Jane, and she was taken into this experiment as a kid as a little as a little maybe like a little baby so uh, i was curious on if 11 was from the upside down or she was like made in a lab and or not but when well, we got that finally um and as far as the like end of this episode that also posed like an interesting thought um and question Hopper digging that impossible size hole that he couldn't dig on his own for any reason. Trust me, I've dig, dug a lot of holes. It's not because I was killing people. <laughs> um, but it's almost like, you know, they're burning back that that central point of the of the doorway to the upside down. But, you know, maybe instead of growing outwards it's grown downwards and out and spread underground and that's why you know it's creating tunnels and it's killing all the plants it's killing all the crops and it's killing everything and it's like basically you know these like little tremors almost or it's just like taking and it's spreading its disease underground uh and that's you know the whole town's now in jeopardy uh, which i thought was a really cool really cool idea you know you think it's being contained here but you can't see what's happening under it so i'm guessing that's what that is and then you got the, all that floating stuff down there i'm curious on like how that's going to affect his respiratory system like is he going to breathe that stuff in is that going to like put little slugs in him is he going to cough up a bunch of little darts like you know, is that how they spread is that how they're born is are they hosts we shall see all right off to episode five.